So for today, we're going to be looking at all of the unyielding favor pieces for the Titans. This one is probably going to be my favorite video for, for the unyielding favor sets, because I think all of the pieces that I used in this video are bangers, bro. And I mean, like when I say bangers, I legitimately mean bangers. Like it's so good, bro. I hate it. Like the first set we're going to be looking at is like my favorite set. The second one is also a set I never thought I'd make. The third set, even cooler. Fourth set, even the fourth set looks cool. Bro, I'm telling you, like, I went hard on this video. So I definitely better see likes, comments, subscribes. I better see this shit. Titans, you guys owe me for this one because this one looks, I'm telling you, man, some of these look so fucking cool. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate y'all. But other than that, let's get into it. So for the first one, we're going to be using the helmet. Now, I think this set came out so fucking cool, man. I will make a video on charred plumage because this shader I got from playing from playing just cr regular crucible. Uh, I don't know. I don't know when this started dropping, but I got it and I'm happy that I did because this is a really cool shader. Uh, so let's look at the pieces first, then we'll go sh through shaders and then we'll just go through my thought process because I this one. Oh, man. Oh, I'm really excited to talk about this one. So unyielding favor helmet. That's like easily one of the best pieces from the unyielding favor sets ever like i think the helmet looks so cool the Torrier gauntlets for the arms is an easy choice considering i'm pairing it with the veritas plate uh there is a problem there but we'll get into the shaders and i'll explain what the problem is uh marin's odyssey i'm gonna be real honest with you guys you can switch out exotics for this one uh you can use anything for the boots for the boots, Marin's Odyssey was an easy choice considering that's the exotic that I was using when I was playing this. And I really like it with this set. I think it looks really, really cool. Just be aware that like you can use any other exotic, like uh, another good exotic would be Peacekeepers. I think Peacekeepers would look really, really cool with this one. Uh, Path of the Burning Steps would be also be a really good one with this one as well. And for the Mark Reason Intrepid Exploit Mark, it's one of my favorite marks in the game. So let's go into shadering. So for shadering, uh, charred plumage for the helmet, the chest piece, and the boots was an easy choice considering all of those have plate armor. And I really wanted to at least have all of the plate armor color be the same because then it just looks weird if I try to put, combine it with other reds. Now, the reason I'm using Valkyrie Zero for the Couturier Gauntlets is because A, not only does it give me a really good black, but it also gives me a really good red on like the jewelry. The other thing is the the Couturier Gauntlets takes a different color to the Veritas plate. So uh, as you guys can see that it's turning and whatnot, you guys will see that the actual jacket of the Veritas plate uh, is black. But then you see the silver in the front. That's like the the inside, I guess you would say. The Couturier Gauntlets would take the silver, which is not what I wanted. So that's why I ended up going with Valkyrie Zero. So that way I can match the chess piece up a lot better. And then uh, Skele Gall for Intrepid Exploit because I wanted just an all black look because uh, Charred Plumage gives it either a green or a red, which I didn't want. I just wanted all black. So this is like legitimately one of the sets that I have in my head now that when I think of my Titan, this is going to be one of the sets that I think about. I have like four sets like that for all the classes. And this one is a new one for my Titan just because I do think it looks so fucking cool. Uh, I do. I would like to see how this looks on a male Titan. But overall, I think this so is it's so fucking cool, man. And the fact that you can switch out exotics too is just super cool. Like I think Path of the Burning Steps will be the best one, but Peacekeepers will be really, really cool. Just be aware that like for me, I think a bet like the best looking exotic would be something that also has some black in there. So that way it looks like you're wearing pants and stuff. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next example, so we're going to be using the arms. And for this one, I ended up using the Cadmus Ridge Lance Cap. We should have reviewed that exotic already. If you guys haven't seen it, it's right here. We should have done that one first because I don't want to showcase this armor first because that would be dumb. So check that video if you guys want to see what I think about the exotic. And well, this is the example set, but we go through how it shaders. Uh, what it does and just overall that type of thing so if you guys like the video let me know uh but for this one bro like let me tell you first and foremost let me apologize that i'm using intrepid exploit or yeah intrepid exploit mark again but let me explain my thought process and then you'll you'll see oh you'll be like oh that makes sense so for this one 
when I saw this exotic for the first time, I immediately thought mother Russia, like, like the meme, right? And I would just leaned into it. So that's why I'm using the Valkyrie plate. For me, it's heavily Russian considering it's from season of the worthy. That makes sense. As for the arms, obviously we're using the unyielding favor for the boots. Eidolon pursuant greaves was an easy choice and I'll explain why in a bit and then intrepid exploit for the mark, uh, for the shader red jacked was not an easy choice because I was going for other reds, but this became an easy choice because it turns the arms into just one red, which if you guys don't know the unyielding favor for the arms, specifically for the Titans, uh, different colors for the arms. So the fact that this one just combines all of them into one red is a good thing for me. And the other reason why it was an easy choice for the boots is because the right side of the boot has silver and in the arms you see on the left side of that, you see uh, silver as well or white, whatever. So for that, I just kind of like wanted to do that so that way it can even out. So again, I was going for like a mother Russia type shit where it's like this Russian dude who's like in the Destiny 2 universe. So. I ended up using the Atrix Intrepid Exploit because it has a gun or a grenade, kind of like a military thing. And yeah, I think the Valkyrie plate also gives off that vibe, which is why I'm using those. And the Eidolon boots, honestly, I don't know where this one came up. Like I was looking at other militaristic boots and whatnot, but I think the Eidolon Pursuit just looks a little bit better for this set. So yeah, this one came out, out this came out more like a meme, but I fucking, it goes hard for some reason. Like I do love it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Again, um, I probably didn't mention this, but we did review the unyielding favor armor. You guys can see it right here. And yeah, I, I explained my thoughts on the arms. I did not think I would ever use these arms, but I do think this looks fucking cool. So we get to a piece that I actually just really surprised myself. We're using the Aeons again. I say again because the Hunter video, which is right here, I ended up using the Aeons. And this one, bro, I think goes harder than the other one. Like, I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. This one goes way fucking harder than I thought it would. And same thing, I wanted to use blue in this one because everyone uses blue for the Aeons. So that's why I'm using uh, something that has blue, which is the Omnicronia. That one actually gives off a blue hue for the glow, which is why I'm using it. So for the helmet, Kogan Pete helmet is an easy choice because this is the helmet that I want to combine with the unyielding favor plate because it looks so fucking cool. And then for the arms Aeons, because I'm going for like a, like an electrical, not electrical, like a techno. I don't, it's so, it looks cool. Let me just get that out the fucking way. It looks cool, bro. <laughs> oh man. I usually don't get excited because I like to like be like at least somewhat professional, but dude, this looks so cool. Uh, Legacy Oath Greaves is just easy choice just because it looks super cool, especially when you combine it with all of the pieces that I already have. And then Thunderous Impact because I didn't want anything too crazy for the mark. But you could use other pieces that have a little bit more electrical looks. I mean, you can use the Season of the Splicer uh, mark. I think that would look cool. It's just too bulky for my taste, which is why I never use it. So yeah, this one is definitely super cool as well. Definitely one of my favorites from this video. I just think each of the pieces just go well so perfectly together. If like there, if, if I did have like one complaint, I guess it would be that I do think the Legacy Oath Greaves are not the best choice for this one just because everything has so much plate armor. And then when you get to the boot, it's a lot more wiring, but I, I do think it looks cool. I, I still think it looks hard. Like it's, it just looks so fucking cool. And then last but not least, we have the Mark. I know some people might be surprised to know especially if you saw my review for this armor that I'm using the mark because I was saying the boots look so cool and whatnot. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything that made me really this excited. So I ended up using the mark because I knew the mark. I already had like an idea for it, which was the Braytech snow boots. I immediately saw these, this mark and I was like, Ooh, this would be a good one for the Braytech boots because the mark has like this crotch plate that almost looks perfect with the Braytech snow boots. And it also has a plate in the back as well. So because I'm going for the Braytech snow boots, I immediately just combine it with other pieces that I knew go well with the Braytech snow boots, which is going to be the Sunbreaker plate or Sunbreak plate. I should say that's a really good chest piece for it. The endless loop ornament for the uh, feedback fence, also a really good one. And the deep explorer helmet is just one of my favorites to combine with all of this uh, for the shader empirical imperative is an easy choice because a lot of this is just plate armor with some under armor beneath it, which is why you don't see a lot of yellow. 
but you do see the yellow in like important pieces like the arms have yellow the glow is specifically yellow the i know the mark has yellow in there as well and then for the boots it intris intrinsically has yellow on the sides of the uh the ankle not ankle but like shin i guess so this one is also a banger definitely gonna be using this one a lot and you don't even have to use the feedback fan sloop you can use other exotics but for me i just wanted to use this one just because it made the most sense so titans let me know what you guys think dude i, I cooked in this one like y'all can't even like i deserve likes comments subscribes all that shit because this video went hard like i think each of these sets was hard as fuck i i definitely think the first one's my favorite just because the unyielding favor helmet just looks so good with everything that i combined with it and if i'm being honest when i first saw the unyielding favor helmet i immediately was like the veritas plate will be fucking great with this and i'm not the only one who thought that but i mean great minds think alike i don't know what to tell you if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate y'all. Other than that, I will see you guys later.